Hi, so today we're going to be discussing testicular pain. This is pain in the testicles as opposed to the penis or prostate or anus, which are also parts of the genital urinary system, but testicular pain is a very specific entity. This pain can be deep, it can be aching, it can be dull, or it can be sharp, stabbing, burning, like a jolt of electricity. Usually worse when sitting, sometimes it's worse with standing, uh, particularly when, say, running or jogging or carrying a heavy object where you're clenching your abdominal muscles. Having a bowel movement or sexual intercourse can make the pain worse, but urinating typically doesn't affect it. So, what causes testicular pain? It's important to start with a good urological workup to rule out a problem with the testicle itself as the cause of the pain. By this, I mean things like a torsion, an infection, a varicocele, a hydrocele, a tumor. Sometimes testicular pain can be referred from a problem, say, in the hip. So arthritis or tendonitis of the hip or from a nerve entrapment after surgery, like when a hernia repair results in an entrapment of the genital femoral nerve, as can a kidney stone. This happens a lot, and it's important to identify that as the cause of the testicular pain. Obviously, trauma to the testicles themselves, pressure on the pudendal nerve from a bicycle seat or a poorly designed chair is another common cause of testicular pain, and poor pelvic muscle tone sets you up to have testicular pain. Pelvic outlet syndrome, which is like thoracic outlet syndrome, is another cause of, of testicular pain. Now, how to prevent testicular pain? Number one, avoid trauma to the groin and testicles. Very important and pretty obvious. Number two, avoid using sex toys like bands or rings around your testicles that can hurt the nerves. Don't wear very tight clothing, particularly underwear. Use a good bicycle seat. A lot of people need a custom seat to avoid putting pressure on the pudendal nerve, and that may be your case. It's also important to use a good seat, particularly if working all day in an office setting, that doesn't put pressure on your pudendal nerve. Get up, walk around, take the pressure off if you're starting to have this testicular pain. Good pelvic muscle tone is key. If you have too much pelvic muscle tone, you'll compress the nerve, but too loose tone will not protect the nerves from external compression and will lead to the, to the testicular pain. This is particularly a problem with bad seats. So what are the treatment options? The goal is to treat the underlying cause of pain rather than merely masking the symptoms. So for example, if the testicular pain is referred from a hip problem, a hip injection will control the pain. Opioids typically aren't very useful and they rarely provide lasting relief, so that's not something that we really use. Instead, we tend to use medications for nerve pain, things like amitriptyline, pregabalin, tuloxetine, lamotrigine, there's a bunch of them, and they're oriented towards nerve pain. Nerve blocks, such as genitofemoral, pudendal, or ilioinguinal, are used frequently particularly when there's some kind of nerve entrapment. Pelvic rehabilitation with acoustic wave therapy is useful in some instances, depending on the cause. And sometimes it's not possible to treat the underlying cause, sometimes because we can't identify the cause, sometimes because the cause is just non treatable. In those cases, we can even use a spinal cord stimulator to abolish the symptoms. Always what you want is minimal pain, minimal side effects as fast as possible. And for that, you should let your urologist or pain specialist help you get to where you need to be.